Hi developers, this is Jimmy from Elston Games. Today we're going to make a button system, so go ahead and create a first person template. The first thing we're going to do is to create a button, so go ahead and create a new blueprint class, an actor, name it light button, double click on it, add component, type call, get box collision, and I'm just going to change the size a little bit maybe something like this then I'm going to add another component type cube and add a cube and also make a little bit different size now I'm going to assign a new a variable so I'm going to type light ID and I'm going to change the integer then I'm going to push this I button it's very important compile now when we drag this out on the stage we can assign a number to this variable we made so I'm going to assign number 1 and I'm going to make a new blueprint class and I'm going to name it remote light here I'm going to type spot and get a spotlight and I'm going to change the intensity to 50,000 compile now I'm going to create a new variable and name it to ID also integer and click on the I button compile I'm going to drag this out to the stage and also type the same number now right click on the character add event on actor begin overlap and now we're going to try to cast this actor is overlapping to light button so if it's a light button, this can be successful and we can extract the ID we assigned before. So you can type get light ID. Now we're gonna get all actors of class. And then we're gonna type remote light. Then we get all the remote lights on the stage. Now we have an array and now we're gonna type four each loop with break and connect them. Every time we loop we're going to try to get the ID from that light. Then we're going to compare it with light the button has. So equal and then create a branch. Then connect them. And if it's true we can stop this loop, so we're gonna connect to break, and we're gonna assign a new variable and call it current remote light. And we're gonna change the type to remote light reference. Drag this out and put set. Then we're gonna connect complete to this node and then assign this current light to the reference next step is to create a button so when we press E button we can type E key and we get the E button and then we can take this current light get and drag this out and type toggle visibility and connect this to now we're gonna copy this one but first we're going back to the stage we can compile back to the stage, right click, add event on the character, on the actor and overlap. Now copy this one, paste it down here and connect them. Now because we don't assign any light there it's gonna be null. So compile and then when you play and we go to this first button we can turn this off and on. A cool thing now is if we copy this one and play again we can go to this one and also to this one and now we can copy this light and drag this out and then we can change the ID of the second button to number 2 also change the ID to number 2 here when we play now we can go to this button and turn it on and off and the same with this first one we made 
And thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.